Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. Like I said in the last vlog, there is a lot going on at the moment. I have a trip to Liverpool this week, I have a hundred million things to do before I leave and that is the general theme of today. I have quite a few ad mini bits to do before I go. We have a depop run, a tip run, I'm going to get my Botox topped up. I cannot wait. I am a bit too expressive, you know, I can't lie properly. With that in mind, we are going to get out of the Adenola set. This is one of my favorites. It's the khaki green, love it. And we're gonna get ready for the day. I am going to wear these blue jeans, like wide leg blue jeans, this belt, my drop earrings. I will link everything in the info box below. And then I'm also gonna wear this top, which is new and i think it's really cute and will look really nice like tucked into the blue jeans and then in terms of timing today we are just going to go for a slick back kind of look just so that i can be ready super quick also yes this is going to be the second vlog where my nails are a crazy mess <laughs> i am leaving them until the last dying second before i leave for liverpool to do them what do we think is this okay Honestly, it's just gonna have to be at this point because I really don't have time to fat. <laughs> This vlog we have a lot of things to unbox it's been a great post day we have some far fetch parcels to unbox side note this video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with far fetch thank you so much to them for sponsoring this vlog as a long-term far fetch customer i am over the moon to be working with them again and we also have a little parcel from our place which i am looking forward to unboxing so we will unbox all of those things later so excited but yeah this is my finished complete OOTD. Uh, this jacket literally just came through the post and I love it. I think it works way better with this look than the leather jacket did. I was also toying with a trench coat as well momentarily before I realized this had come through the door. And uh, yeah, this just looked the best, I think. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is the outfit of the day. Also, I think these trainers might be available on Farfetch. I will check that, but if they are, would definitely recommend. They're just, I've had these for so long now and they're such a nice, easy trainer, especially with an outfit like this um, because of the black and the kind of creamy rubber sole. Works really well um, and they're super comfy as well. I just love them. So anyway, this is my outfit of the day. Let's go do some depopping, take the rubbish to the tip and sort my face out. Depop is done, my mountain of cardboard <laughs> is in the car. Mountain of cardboard is continued back here. We're gonna sort this and then we're gonna go to Brighton. I will see you there. We are very early, so we're gonna go for a wander around Zara because it would be rude not to really, wouldn't it? Not that I have anything I need or want, but let's kill some time because I am literally 45 minutes early. But great because hopefully I'll be out of there and back home and getting some shiz done earlier than expected. I actually think I may hate everything in here. It is Zara sale season, so that was truly the biggest bust in the world. There was nothing. Off to find somewhere else to kill some time. Oh my god, yes. Here is somewhere where I can kill some time. Do I get a new little ear stud? These are so cute.
So if anyone is wondering, this is where I go for my Botox. I like it because they have like doctors and I'm very funny about who I let do my Botox. I have a pen on my forehead. <laughs> what camera is that? Okay, we are done. Now my forehead is so lumpy. Vlogging on Botox day has always seems like such a good idea until it actually comes down to it. And I'm like, why have I just done this to myself? This is so embarrassing. Why? Why? I look insane. So, um, yeah. Thanks for coming along with me. Um, also slightly devastated because one of my favorite doctors at the clinic is now not going anymore. I'm so sad. I still like the other one. He's really good, but there's just, I vibed with this other guy so much. Loved him, but. home and I thought I would show you what I picked up whilst I was meant to just be killing some time and having a browse before my appointment. Let's see if we can get these out. I popped into the Astrid and Miu store in Brighton which is new and I hadn't been in there before. I'd been wanting to go in for a while so I took my opportunity and I picked up some gorgeous new rings. Look at this. It's so pretty. Please hold whilst I try this on. How beautiful is that and then i also have this ring as well which i believe oh, trying to do this one-handed is so hard yeah they stack together how beautiful is that i mean my nails not so much that is so lovely so i got those two that's what was in that pouch and then i have two more in this pouch oh i'm so excited about this one this is basically i got it in the smallest size and it fits my pinky and i I've been after a cute little ring for my pinky finger for so long and this is perfect. By the way, yes, I am really shaky because it is almost dinner time. And then I picked up this ring, which is stunning. Stunning. This reminds me of a ring my mum used to have, but it had a stone that like joined here. So nice. Um, so this is meant to go on my index finger. So this is gonna look a little bit big, but just to show you all of them together, I love them. They are so, so nice. These two will be perfect, like alone, but also together. Oh, yeah, just love them so much. And they're all available online, I think at the moment as well. So I will link them if you guys are interested in picking any of these up. <laughs> little outfit of the day for you guys i have got a black silk shirt on i think this is from lily silk zara jeans asos boots this might seem quite dressy i'm aware being in the house but i'm going to see my friend this evening so i basically just put on everything that i would wear later right now um rather than getting changed twice it just made sense to me and then in terms of jewelry i've got nothing on my hands i took my rings off last night when i was doing nails and i've just misplaced them they went with all of the rest of my jewelry but uh in terms of my necklace this is the victoria edge of ember gaia collection necklace which i just love and then some monica vinida chunky hoop earrings i love these they are gorgeous so yeah just a nice simple all black outfit i would never normally wear like a black shirt and black wide leg jeans but i actually really like this i think it would also just look really cool with trainers might potentially switch this out for trainers to be honest and for my bag i'm gonna wear this dior saddle bag i really like it because the gold detailing goes really nicely with 
the jewelry and it just works really nicely with the all black outfit and like the denim in the outfit i don't know it just works and i'm very happy about that because i'm trying to get more wear out of this one because as annoying as the size is and the amount that it fits in it really is such a gorgeous bag and i think this time of year like spring summer is really it's time even autumn to be honest i do think it's an amazing bag and i want to get more wear out of it so yeah that is my bag of the day anyway i've got a lot of editing to do before i go out so let's go let's do that Okay, we have got crazy building work going on right now. Deep breaths. We are sitting in the office because it is the quietest room, but it's not completely spared from the building work, which I, I don't even know where it's going on, but it is so loud and it's like, it's in my house. It's crazy. Slightly stressful. Also really trying to manage all of the contracts and stuff for the reno today. So if I am like, just seem like I'm operating up here, that is why. You know when you are just you have too much on and you're trying to manage like a million things. That is where I'm at right now. But anyway, we have some Farfetch things to unbox. For those of you who aren't familiar with Farfetch, where do I even start? It is one of my favorite places to shop for fashion, luxury fashion, beauty. They have got one of the best beauty selections, like such niche things. And one of the reasons for that is because they work with boutiques around the world. So they use the stocks from all of these boutiques around the world. So you can get your hands on things that might not be available elsewhere. And you can also get your hands on some really unique colorways of things, just harder to find items. If there's a pair of trainers that are sold out everywhere, I will always go to Farfetch because they will always have them. Like those Nikes you want that are just sold out everywhere, they always have them. New Balance, they always have them. I've also had some great bag purchases from them in the past as well in really unique colorways because they've come from different boutiques around the world. So I absolutely love them for more unique luxury purchases. But they also have this rewards scheme which I am obsessed with. It's tiered so you can work your way up and you can get everything from like birthday rewards, free shipping, like I always have free shipping, it is the best. Exclusive discounts, private sale, it's so, I'm not even joking, it is so good. There's also brands that um, you can get through some of the rewards tiers uh, that you can't get in general and you get access to some stuff early as well so my jimmy choo teal boots i got access to those early on farfetch and it was yeah it was unreal i love it and they also have a positively conscious section if you're looking to be more mindful when you're shopping for your luxury fashion they're just great and i'm very excited because i have a discount code with them if you guys want to pick anything up i will pop it on the screen now and i'll pop and link to all of the t's and c's and everything like that in the info box but yeah i love working with them thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video and for giving us a code we love it you guys dm me all the time being like do you have a code do you have a code i have a code i will pop it on screen so i picked up a few bits to judge my wardrobe for spring there are some great spring summer dresses I'm, I am in that mode now like I'm like get me in the cute floaty barely there dresses like I don't want to be wearing jeans and tight clothes anymore I am ready for summer but the weather is not on my side at the moment so until then I did pick up a few bits as well that are really amazing for now as well this top in particular I have had my eye on oh my god this is so soft it's unreal I've had my eye on this for so long this is so beautiful I kind of plan on wearing this like slightly unbuttoned both top and bottom and leaving it like buttoned in the middle but you can obviously wear it completely buttoned up and I think it will look so gorgeous tucked into a pair of jeans you can wear it open if you wanted to and it's just in the most stunning beigey oatmeal-y taupey colour mm. I am obsessed with this. I got it in a size small. We'll see how it fits, but generally size small for me in Reformation clothing is just perfect. And I thought it would look super gorgeous with these Anina Bing jeans. Look at the color of these. This would go so nicely with the black shirt I'm wearing right now. I got these in a size 26. They're the Sonia High Rise Ankle Slim. I'm looking forward to trying these on. I love like a not a skinny jean, but not a super like mom baggy jean. I'm excited to try this on. And I think they'll look so gorgeous with this like lovely 
minky taupey color such a nice little spring vibe and then i also picked up because it's not got warm yet i picked up a sweatshirt from anina bing i've been after this one for so long i now need to get a little trip to paris booked in so that i can be super cliche um i got this in a size medium i like to size up a little bit in anina bing so that the pieces are more slouchy that would be so nice just with a pair of leggings really super chill i'm so excited about these summer dresses these would be gorgeous if you had a summer wedding coming up just saying you know i love to give recommendations on wedding guest dresses this is stunning oh my god it's so gorgeous i love a green i love a green so much i got this in a size two fingers crossed it's gonna fit me okay this one's great because it's actually got like ruching on the back so that it will it has give it will stretch a little bit so if your back around here is slightly bigger these are a really great dress to go for it's also got a lovely slit up the leg as well just so stunning i actually have that style of dress in a blue silk from last year and it's one of my favorite dresses that i have in my wardrobe i still have it i love it so much I need to wear that so much this summer because it is truly stunning and i think now that my hair is darker it will just look so good i also got this dress it's this beautiful dark blue it looked like a navy online but it's got like a slightly more bluey purple undertone like an indigo really really gorgeous and it's got tie shoulders i just think this is gonna be so beautiful and it's again got the stretchy ruching on the back which we love um and it's a really lovely light fabric not too thick not too heavy if you like wearing cooler colors this would be a lovely one for a wedding if you're like if you want to wear black but you don't want to wear black because in the uk that's slightly frowned upon sorry just adjusting the light because i looked a bit mad anyway i got this in a size two i think yeah size two i'm so excited to try this on so beautiful big fan of a reformation dress me it's one of my go-to brands on farfetch if i could advise you on some of my favorite brands reformation anina bing sandro marj mm, self-portrait a big go-to for me if i'm looking for like event dresses rotate great brand again if you're looking for event dresses but they also do really cool um like sweaters and joggers and stuff like that why am i struggling to get this packaging open today and then finally this is a really beautiful more casual everyday summer dress again from reformation it's this gorgeous blue really dainty floral print strappy dress so simple I, if it fits well it's going to be an absolute staple for me this and a pair of trainers or sandals would just be perfect in the summer it's got adjustable straps which you know i love this comes in a size small instead of the uh kind of us numbered sizing i'm so excited to try this one it's got lining as well so it's not super super thin and see-through which is amazing that is the thing that i love about reformation dresses they are just so well lined they're such an amazing brand and i'm just so glad that farfetch stocked them oh stunning can't wait to try all of this on let's go and play dress up okay i think this is cute what do we think it's so soft i love it this is going to be like a perfect little spring cardigan i think it would also look really nice with white shorts on like cooler summer days when you need something kind of over your top half so you don't get chilly this would be really nice it's an oversized fit so i think you could size down if you wanted to but i actually just really like this i think it's so nice and comfy i've just tucked one half and left the other half like hanging down but you could tuck both halves and have it as a really nice super soft and warm uh long sleeved knit or you could just have a button in the middle if you wanted to be like instagram girly and have it like this but my favorite way was just with like a half tuck i think this would also look lovely i have like my anina bing leather trousers and i think this would look like a little bit more dressy like you could dress this up a little bit if you put on some leather trousers and some like pointed boots i've obviously just got slippers on right now because i wanted to be comfy but i love this i think it's such a nice 
comfy casual piece for spring it's going to keep you warm on those days when the weather really can't decide like right now yeah this is stunning and i love the color of it as well and then we have the anina bing jeans which fit so beautifully they are pre-warning uh fully button up no zips i know that's make or break for some people um but these are just such a lovely fit they're really nice and like not tight but not too loose i think these could still tuck into boots really well or you could wear them with trainers but you could also wear a boot that is higher on the leg and this would just tuck in really nicely without any excess material because they're like that perfect mix of like skinny but roomy on the top but not too roomy that if you were to put on a boot there would just be bunching i don't think you would get really any bunching um and i love the color of these i think they are stunning so yeah like i said i got a size 26 and they fit like a glove like they fit really nicely around the waist there's not too much excess material yeah they're a really lovely pair of jeans what do we think should i keep them definitely keeping this jumper this is absolutely gorgeous i'm so so happy with this okay oh this sweatshirt is so cute i love it even more than i thought i was going to and this is so funny because i normally don't love a gray like a charcoal gray but i will make an exception for this color when it comes to any anina bing clothing i don't know what it is i just love it and i love the fit of these sweatshirts i have a hoodie and i have a light gray sweatshirt and i just love like my light gray sweatshirt is smaller but i still really like the fit of it they just have a really lovely slouch to them which i am obsessed with it always feels so nice and comfy but like good about myself in their clothing i don't know if that's like silly to say because it's like a sweatshirt but there's something about anina bin clothing that i just love i'm wearing uh this sweatshirt with my anina bing leather trousers which are just my absolute favorite and then i've just got my pointed black little sock boots on which are my favorites to wear with these leather trousers i just think they work really really well together just to smarten this up a little bit i really like this but i could also go with a chunky leather boot as well i really like that and maybe a pair of converse potentially could wear a pair of converse with this but yeah just absolutely love the combo together i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this as like a whole look i really like it so yeah definitely definitely keeping this love 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 yes do you know what i don't think i've ever met a reformation dress that i didn't like this is so simple sorry ugly apple watch <laughs> needs to go this is so simple but I just feel so nice in this. It's so gorgeous and works really, really nicely as I had hoped, just with a really plain pair of trainers. I would like to get like a new pair of trainers that are a bit like this for summer, but I can't decide what color to go for. A blue could be cool. Maybe like that Adidas Sambas in blue. Is that too much? Not sure. You guys can let me know. But yeah i just really love how simple this is even with just like a little bun on my head on a hot day this is just so perfect i'd probably go leather jacket with this but i think you could wear a blazer as well and that would work really beautifully or just a cardigan like just a nice beige kind of really oversized cardigan would be absolutely beautiful with this just really simple really comfy casual yeah i love this i'm so happy with it Oh my god, you guys, I am screaming! <gasps> this is stunning. All I have in my head is wonderful because you look bonita. If you don't have TikTok, that's going to mean absolutely nothing to you. I feel bonita. If you know, you know. This is so stunning. So stunning. Like, this one fits way better than the blue that i have i got the blue in a four because i didn't really know at the time that it came with this ruching on the back and let me tell you that ruching makes all the difference like i can really feel it doing the good work at the back because it is fitted at my waist but it doesn't look like it's digging in anywhere or it's too tight because of that ruching it just cinches so perfectly and molds to your body an excellent design this is lovely and it just gives the best 
waist. I am so happy with this. So definitely no need to size up with this. The ruching at the back is gonna do amazing things. This is so stunning. I have some weddings coming up this summer and this could be a contender. So blue dress, also very gorgeous. This is so nice and simple, but the ties on the shoulders still give it like a good amount of interest. They add like some femininity. They work really nicely with the fact that the skirt is quite swooshy. Real technical term there. So overall, even though it's a very plain dress, it feels very, very feminine at the same time. This one's definitely got more room to it than the green one, but I like that because I think it just allows it to flow over the body really nicely and it's got a really good amount of um, material over the hips as well which allows it to just fall in a really really beautiful way. I also love the neckline and how squared off it is. It's just really pretty. That's the back. So you can definitely wear a bra with this as well if you want to. The back's not too low. It's just stunning and I love the leg slit as well. It just it's a nice detail without being too much. Big fan of this. Which one is your favorite? I think for me, the blue one for every day, the green one for summer events and dressier occasions, I think is beautiful. I still love this one though, but the green one just really wowed me. Yeah, let me know what you think. Which is your favorite? Ignore the messy bathroom. I am back from dropping stuff to my friends and now I need to do all of my beauty. TLC before I leave tomorrow. The nails need to be done, pedi, hair, tan, the whole shebang. And all I want to do is sit on the sofa and eat my dinner. Oh, I'm also really excited because we're having um, Cavaliero Nero Pesto Pasta, which I've mentioned before. It's one of my favorite dinners ever of all time tonight. It has reminded me that last week, as a part of the four hours of footage that I had uh, from last week's vlog, my tap's just making some weird noises, I filmed the recipe for my Cavallero Nero pasta. So we're gonna flash back to last week and I'm gonna show you how to make it. If you try it, let me know. I would love to know if you like it too. I recommend it with some cheesy garlic bread. Mm so good but we are going to flash back to that now and i'll be back with you once i've done my beauty routine so i'm going to show you how i make this meal i've been making it since about october and i uh, i didn't make this recipe up myself but i've altered it from another recipe which i will put on the screen now i have actually followed that recipe um weirdly the first time i made it i didn't follow it i just kind of went off the ingredients a little bit but the second time i made it I followed the instructions and I really didn't like it. Um, it. The measurement of white wine vinegar in that recipe is not for me personally. I mean, maybe some people just love it. I don't, I, it's never really been something that I've used in a recipe. Like I, the reason I have it is for this recipe. So, but I now do use it in a lot of stuff, but I literally use like a dash. You know, when they say a dash and you think, what is a dash? Like that's how I learn what a dash is like a splash, you know, like whoop, that much. Um, anyway, I'm sure we all can figure out what a splash and a dash are. Um, anyway, basically, so I like to start off by just lightly cooking my Cavallo Nero. Oops. And, and the more and the more Cavallo Nero you use, the darker green it goes. So I've used like a whole pack today because I want it to be like a really dark, rich green color. Um, so I've just popped it in the R Place pan that I love so much because there's a lot of kale here. And then I pour in my water. And I just leave that to cook for about four or five minutes. Like, I'd say four, like really not very long. And then in the meantime, I want to chop up a handful, like a nice big handful of parsley and some broccoli. Hello, shrimp parilla. I'll bring your dinner in a sec.
just realised I didn't need to chop up that parsley at all because it is going in a blender. But I might keep some actually to sprinkle on top, so not wasted. We've got some basil as well. It smells amazing. So we are going to keep some basil aside for the top because it's nice, you know. The rest can go in the blender. So we're going to put our broccoli aside because that's not going in the blender. Please excuse the dog that is going wild outside. I don't know who that is. No one has a dog around here apart from me. So the broccoli and the basil in a dish to the side and then everything else. So like I've done my broccoli stalks, we've got parsley, we've got basil, everything is going to go in the blender. Okay, our pasta is about to go in. We're going to be having some rigatoni because I really like it with uh, this type of sauce. Anything really saucy, this is the best pasta. Uh, I can hear my step granddad who gave us the last name that we have spinning in his grave with the way I say rigatoni. Probably ready to come back and haunt me. Anyway, love me some rigatoni. World's worst Italian. That's because I'm not. I'm Spanish. Also, not very believable either, really, is it? Whoops. Half a pack because we eat way too much and our portion sizes are ridiculous. Fully me to blame for that. Whenever Ryan cooks, his portion sizes are not the same as mine and I think he's trying to starve me. Okay, next up, we are going to whack this. No, oh, why are you ruining my life? Anyway, as I was saying, whack the kale into your blender of choice, whatever blender you have. I hope it's a good one. Uh, if it's not, this is going to be a little bit more chunky, but to be honest, still not the worst. I'd still attempt making this even if you don't have like a super smooth blender. Because we have a lot of kale, I am going to put the kale in first and then blend it all up and then put in the extra ingredients. But if I was doing less kale, I would normally just whack it all in together. Actually, I think we can make this work. So we are going to add a splash or a dash. No, but that much of white wine vinegar loads of olive oil i normally do like olive oil before the cooking and then extra virgin after vegan basil you can make your own it's actually part of the original recipe but this is where i heavily deviate because i do not have the mental capacity for that even though i have all of the ingredients i just can't be bothered. Add about half a jar of vegan pesto in there. A little bit of tarragon, which I have never used before this recipe. So I can actually tell you if it makes a difference. Garlic, oh, the garlic is not garlicking. That's good. Garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of dill. This is a deviation, but I wanna see if Ryan notices. That I've added a tiny bit see what his verdict is i like to go for a few just like a few crushed chilies as well because i think this tastes better if it's got a bit of a kick to it and then salt and pepper flakes that was way too much mr hurley is not going to be happy he actually hates when i over salt things so let's hope that this is actually okay black pepper i forgot about this so this is going to be interesting i'm going to pop the broccoli stalks in and then i'm going to give it a whiz and then put the herbs in This is going to need the vital ingredient that I forgot about, which is some pasta water. Please hold whilst I, whoa, so hot. Please hold whilst I rectify this situation. Pasta water, an essential part of this recipe and actually in any sauce making recipe. Forgot to mention when I'm about halfway through, I like to just throw my broccoli in with the pasta. We need some more water in here. Pronto. Look 
at that. That is stunning. I forgot to mention it also tastes amazing as well with Kievs. So we've got two vegan Kievs in the oven as well. Also, I just did one of those Sarah Chapman face masks. I normally only do them after I fly, so my skin is like super dry, jet lagged, disgusting. When my skin is actually nice to begin with and I use it, wow. I am so glowy. I'm also very red because I'm very hot. Those face masks are the best. Oh, my Kiev is ready. Bye. And that is how I make it. Just bung it all in a blender, cook some pasta, cook a little Kiev, 10 out of 10. Packing is in process. Uh, I'm nowhere near done, but I'm gonna have to pick things back up tomorrow. Um, I can't remember if I said, but I'm going for a Hindu, so I'm taking up like beauty products and things like that as well. Um, I am genuinely concerned that this suitcase is actually not gonna be liftable, and I have like four or five changes on the train, so this is gonna be interesting. If I'm this be my brace is in, I can't be bothered to take it out, so you're gonna have to accept me as I am right now. I've done my nails. I used the gel bottle gloss. Big, big fan of this, never had it before, but this was one of my colors from the Sheer Simplicity collection, and I love it. It's gone very dark now, so I feel like you can't see it, but it's so pretty. It's got like the nicest, pinky hue. I could have done another coat of this to be honest. I was painting my nails with my ring light behind me so that I got like the good light because I was really trying to do like good cuticle work, which I think I did. But yeah, I couldn't tell how pink they were going to look. I feel like I could have gone a little bit pinker, but that's the next time. Very happy with them. They look so pretty. And um, it's nice not to have mismatched nails anymore, even though I did get a lot of compliments on them. I think people thought that it was that way on purpose, which was very nice, but um, yeah, nice to just see a fresh neutral nail. Also caught up on Amelia and Estee's uh, wellness retreat vlogs whilst I was doing my nails and those two, I want to hang out with them all the time. They just have the best energy together. Also wash my hair, so it's lovely and fresh. It's getting so long now. I haven't done anything mad to it, because so I'm just going to leave it straight over the weekend. The Hindu itinerary is quite tight, so I'm just going to be kind of doing updos and things like that to make my get ready time quicker. But anyway, you'll see all of that in the next vlog. I'm so excited! I leave tomorrow morning, so I need to get to bed now uh so this is where i'm gonna leave you for this vlog i really hope you enjoyed coming along with me this week don't forget to use my farfetch code if you're interested in picking any bits up from farfetch it will be in the info box below if you need it and thank you so much to farfetch for sponsoring this video and yeah that is it i'm so tired so i'm gonna go to bed i love you all so much and i'll see you guys again in my next vlog goodbye what was that love you bye